Hello, how are you? How are you doing in this? <laughs> Hopefully where you are, a beautiful day here is a little uh, drizzling and cloudy. But the subject, I thought it's actually very interesting. And I tell you why a little later. We're going to be talking about trophy husband and trophy wife. And I'm more as a woman talking about trophy wife. You see, when we're talking about the guy who is looking um, for a younger, a lot younger, usually beautiful, attractive sex symbol, we calling, um, you know, we, we calling him often sugar daddy. And the woman, the trophy wife, a gold digger. Because in people's mind, um, what she has to offer besides her youth, her looks or sex appeal. Okay. Obviously, she loves his wealth position. Um, so that's why she is called the gold digger. Usually the years between them are, um, it's a huge gap there. And, and it would be nothing to talk about because this is an old subject, <laughs> except what is really going on in those relationships, those marriages that perceived as trophy wife there or trophy husband, because it goes both ways. Many wealthy women, they accumulated money, homes, cars, and now they're looking for the trophy husband, the young, attractive, strong, sexy, and you see, many times we're looking at those sugar daddies, sugar mommies, although I never heard that one before. And we're thinking these people must be somehow narcissistic, uh, just, uh, you know, caring so much to impress others. Hey, look. I have a very attractive sex symbol on my shoulder. So that would be all okay. Except what is really going on inside of that marriage? He has money. She's young, beautiful, great. But you see, what I said before, that that wealthy sugar daddy or mommy may be narcissistic. It may play a key role later in that marriage or that relationship. What good can you expect from a narcissist who loves to show off? Okay, that partner may get, that trophy wife or husband, may get money, like vacations is no problem, beautiful clothing is no problem, beautiful car or cars, no problem, okay? Gifts, ooh, probably plenty. But, is that person happy? Oh, let me take a, a quick look. If you know, if you are a trophy wife or a husband, okay? So your partner gives you the money. You can buy almost anything you want. That money is no issue there. And you spending it. So you have many purses. 
lots of shoes, whatever is the best, the newest, the greatest. You want to go on a vacation? Hey, let's go. Or you can go even by yourself. That's no problem either. Definitely, you're getting really expensive gifts. Diamonds, platinum, gold, and the best of the best. Your engagement ring probably is huge because after all, you have to look very impressive. <laughs> um, so your trophy husband or trophy, um, when you are trophy, so your husband or wife um, will say, hey, look, She's not just beautiful, but look what I gave her. It's a symbol of my wealth on her finger. Maybe totally not practical, but boy, you can show off. Uh, or uh, the, you showing off, but really you're showing his wealth. You see, and that uh, now it comes the sad part. Um, if you are a trophy wife, you're not going to see your husband during the day. He's going to be gone. He's working all the time or he's doing something all the time. Because to him, you are a trophy. You're not a love symbol. You are sex symbol youth symbol, a trophy symbol, but not love. Not necessarily. Is that 100%? No. But if you already think you are a trophy, that's what you're saying to me. He's gone because he doesn't believe in your necessarily intelligence, your wisdom. He has other people men and women he would rather talk to. You only good to show next to him wherever he goes so he can be proud of one more thing, in this case person, that he possesses. You see, I have these homes, I have these cars, I have this own money, businesses, and I have this wife. But that's it. He Leaves the house 6, 7 a.m., he comes back. You're lucky if 7, 8 p.m. Okay. So, if the woman is actually in love with this wealthy guy, she's even in a worse position. <laughs> because with time, she may, go, she may do two things. Okay, I have everything, but I don't have a husband. Or, I'm enjoying my life my way. Although, cheating I never would advise. First of all, it lacks integrity. But the next thing is, he, once he finds out that you're cheating on him, he may cut you off completely from everything. Because you're not something that he can be proud of anymore. So you kind of on a leash. I don't know if I can say that you have a freedom to do anything you want. And that goes with the next thing. Yeah, you may have financially a lot. Okay. But what do you have when it comes to love? Feel being loved. and cuddled, and spending quality time, loving time with your partner. Or maybe he is a bully, or controller and manipulator. And if you don't submit, you're going to be punished somehow. Now he comes back home at 10, 11 p.m. You hardly can see him ever. You're totally lonely. <laughs> so, um, 
No, it's actually not funny at all. Um, so, at the end, I have to say, money then is no problem. Getting love is a serious one. And you need to make a choice. Is that good? And then usually you will get depressed because on one hand, you already spoil it. You got it all and you got used to having it all. And now comes a long sum love. And what do you do? No, you want both. But you cannot have both. Because even if you have a clandestine affair, when that comes out, oh, the hell may break loose. So, um, <laughs> now, if you're already in that situation, sorry, you got yourself there and you have to deal with it. And come from love, not from ego. But... This is more for those who are thinking about becoming a trophy wife or, or a trophy husband. That's who this video is for. Think with your heart. So feel it more than just come from the ego and being materialistic. That's the best advice I can give you. I love you all. Many hugs and kisses. <laughs> and until we meet again.